Hey guys, uh, so yesterday on the live show we had a discussion on bullying um, and particularly about cyberbullying and today I just wanted to share something a little bit different with you just to kind of recap what was spoken about yesterday because um, but besides only recapping I also wanted to talk about some of the comments you put on Facebook it was really going crazy yesterday I know a lot of people are struggling with this idea of bullying um, and after my phone call uh, with Matthew on the live show yesterday it was something that really touched me quite deeply and I wanted to just share with the rest of you um, some more details so Yesterday, the discussion in studio revolved around the fact that bullies usually are people who were traumatized or bullied as a youngster. And this really got me a bit itchy and edgy because I wasn't able to put my comments in there. And not only is that the case, uh, what was very important was an insert that we played for you guys of one of the teachers and headmasters of a high school who expanded a little bit more on bullying and the idea that the person, the victim themselves, is where this thing needs to be tackled. So... I just wanted to share something with you guys, and that is that if you are being bullied, I want you to know that you are a particular individual, and sometimes your personality might not be something that other people enjoy, and they are going to attack you for it. And the only way that we are going to be able to curb bullying is if we find people um, who are able to be more confident in themselves. And so I need you guys to understand that if you are being bullied, it's because you don't believe in yourself enough, that because what they're trying to say is something that you believe in. So bullies, stop it. But guys, if you are being bullied, make sure that you learn to find ways to love yourself. Realize the person that you are and grow into that human being without others uh, putting a negative influence on that. Hope that makes sense. And I know in today's live show, they're going to be reading a whole lot of the more comments uh, out on Facebook. But I found two that I wanted to respond to already on the social sites. Um, the first one was from a girl named uh, Alopa, who said, People, I hear you saying you block that person. Oh, if you see people saying stuff on Facebook, you can block that person on Facebook. That person can read all your walls and comments. We'll just come up with a better solution. And so I wanted to comment on this idea of blocking. Because in real life, you can't block people. You arrive at school, your friends are going to be there. And a lot of the time, the bullies are the people who are close to you. So just remember that if you are on the social sites and perhaps you are being cyberbullied, if there's something online that people are putting ugly comments on, you can block those people from, from po posting nasty comments. And it can be used as a form of bullying. So just realize that blocking people on Facebook is an option for you. Um, I can teach you guys how to do that at some point. So if one of you is struggling with online stuff and people bullying you online, get hold of us. Tweet us, Facebook us, and we can try and find a way to teach you how to block people who are sending rude comments to you online. Then another comment that we got over here was from a Sibongile. It wasn't from Sibongile. I wanted to read um, Mahatso's one, who was speaking about people being traumatized. And the one reason that she said people are being traumatized is because it's bullies who are close to you. A lot of the time, bullies are your friends or, or people who know you intimately and know personal details about you. They tend to use those and spread those. I think that's another important thing for my side from what I learned from yesterday, is make sure that you're surrounding yourself with good people. Sometimes it might be tough, sometimes you might not be as popular or friendly with everybody else, but it's important that you do surround yourself with people who care for you and have a good sense of, of moral standing, that they are going to stand up for you in times when you are sad uh, or sore or hurting or anything like that. So, those are my thoughts on what happened yesterday. It was one of my favorite shows of all time on Hectic 99, and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the discussion as much as I did. Today, we are, like I said, are reading some of those comments live, so if you haven't sent yours through, please do so ASAP on Facebook and on Twitter. We'll read them live on the show today and continue this discussion with your family and your friends at home. Bullying must stop in South Africa. Believe in yourself, love yourself, and you could be the next president. Danilo, signing out.